Yes, and I uh, just want to talk to you about a, a, a cool project we have going on it, uh, out of the LA Blender user group. It's called the Racquetball Court Challenge. Um, this really started with a few of us from the LA Blender user group after our meetings. Uh, you know, we, we were all talking about cool stuff we were doing in VR and our VR headsets. So we all got together uh, to play a game called Space Pirate uh, DX. And it's a uh, arena-based game for Oculus Quest 2 that allows you to run around in real space in a maze and effectively play laser tag with each other in a co-located physical space. And so, you know, we originally tried it on uh, some tennis courts and then uh, tried it in some parking lots and, uh, you know, you need to get the, the lighting and so forth just right. But in the process, we discovered um, some racquetball courts on my property uh, in the complex I live in, which are... Mm, mostly unused and uh, decided that we, uh, we we set up in there and started doing virtual reality in there uh, to play this arena game but um, what we decided was it would be really cool to build a custom VR environment to fit the space so the gauntlet was thrown uh, a couple of us have built VR environments before um, so we uh, you know this this racquetball standard racquetball size is 40 foot long by 20 foot wide by 20 foot high and uh, so given they're all blender users we're gonna build you know build the assets in blender import them into unreal set all the physics the visual effects the um you know the interaction and so forth and and then run it in there like so uh, i'm uh, on a, pro a large property in marina del rey um, we have these uh, shared racquetball courts, so just uh, in the middle of uh, the complex, you can go down this flight of stairs and uh, uh, go find these racquetball courts. And uh, once you go through the door, um, it's basically a standard racquetball court after that. It's just a very large space, great for virtual reality. Um, um, just as a kind of a quick update on how that's going. So I'm running a, a Blender 3.5 Alpha. Um, there's a, I started the project in 3.5 and, and basically uh, initially just kind of built out the dimensions exactly of the racquetball court. So the entrance to the court is here on the side. Uh, once you're inside the court, you know, it's pretty much just a box. Um, but it was important for me to, to kind of understand the dimensions because um, I wanted to build on top of that uh, some VR environment. So just to give you an idea, um, if I kind of, let's see, if I, let's see, uh, so I built this Christmas scene and you'll notice uh, we're looking down on the scene right now. Uh, you'll notice that there's a, uh, a series of uh, walls that actually kind of align exactly the racquetball court. I'm gonna get rid of this kind of racquetball court mock-up and you'll kind of see what I'm talking about here. So um, again, you enter the court uh, through a door. In this case, uh, it's actually a, an archway if you look back at it. But you know, the idea being that you, know, you get down to the entrance to the racquetball court um, and you uh, put on your headset, you walk into the room and then you can kind of follow this path. Um, so what I did was, um, you know, created the scene, which uh, includes uh, a few assets, which are uh, um, shamelessly uh, borrowed from uh, uh, Sketchfab, you know, the, the free download uh, at Creative Commons ones, as well as, um, uh, yeah, there we go, we'll get a little bit of color here, as well as um, uh, some assets that were grabbed from, you know, there's like one or two that were grabbed from uh, Megascans. But, um, Basically, you know, we, we put some lights into the scene, uh, basically on these kind of candles here and on uh, on the Christmas tree and kind of on, on the sleigh. And then, uh, you know, you can kind of see there's like some signs. If you look back through the door, it says, Welcome to St. Nicholas State Park. Uh, and some cute little uh, uh, Easter eggs, like I put a Stanford bunny under the tree here and so on and so forth. So um, really just the, the very first uh, test and the nice thing about this is, uh, so we'll, we'll jump down to the camera view here, is if you use the, the VR uh, scene inspection add-on, you can click this start VR button. And uh, let's go ahead and do that. And we'll take a look at what that looks like. Uh, first thing you need to have running, of course, 
in this case is the Oculus Quest 2 um, software, and then uh, the um, you just start the VR software. All right, so here we are uh, in the Oculus Quest 2. Uh, this is just your, your standard uh, kind of loading screen. What I'm going to do now is just go down to settings here. I'm going to go to Quest Link, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, go ahead and launch that. So um, I've got the connected to the PC via a USB cable, and uh, so that's going to let us connect to the PC. Okay. So here we are in PC VR, right? So we're, we're actually getting this uh, from the PC. I'm gonna go ahead and on my, so this is our standard loading room. Uh, on my PC, I'm gonna click start a VR session. And uh, there you go. So let me find my controllers again. All right, so this is what it looks like inside a blender. Um, you can see uh, my two controllers in front of me here, and <laughs> they give you a little um, XYZ orientation. But uh, as you can see, you know we've got uh, we've got this Christmas tree. We've got a number of candles going on. We've got this tree to the left of us. Um, we've got a St. Nicholas State Park. So this would be the door in the racquetball court that you go through. Um, like I said, the uh, the walls are um, specifically engineered to. I'm just going to move forward a little bit here. Walls are specifically engineered uh, to be able to uh, correspond with the, the walls on the racquetball court. Um, so I've kind of left it open-ended. But uh, as you can see, I've just got an HDRI in the background that's lighting the scene. So uh, those are it's a photograph of some real mountains and so forth. So, yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah, I, I used um, a little bit of weight painting and uh, particle system just to distribute the trees and the flowers and stuff here. So anyways, oops, um, I can see some grid floor coming through here. So obviously I didn't turn off uh, all of the overlays. But yeah, this is what it looks like inside virtual reality created in Blender.